Hey everyone, so let's talk about reading ebooks here on a Amazon Kindle e-reader versus an Amazon Fire tablet here. Uh, so this is the 2021 HD 10 that we're using here, but this goes for perch any type of Amazon Kindle. Uh, probably goes for perch any tablet as well. Uh, so right away, you guys can probably notice the reflection here. This brightness is up all the way. Uh, whereas this one does not have like any reflection on it at all uh, So that's one thing you'll notice. Uh, so this will be easier to read outside uh, You still read this outside just this will be a bit easier uh, To this is going to be using the e-ink so it should be a bit better for your eyes Especially if you're reading for a long time or at night uh, This of course has you know, it's a normal tablet. So So first let's go into this book. I'm reading here And so this is actually the first time I've opened up this book on my tablet here. I've been reading it on my e-reader, uh, and it brings me right to where I was on the tablet. Uh, so you can see here, it looks nice, of course, nice and beautiful. Uh, this is a 1080p, 1080 display here, so it is nice, nice and crisp. Turn it sideways here. And then we get two pages on one screen. And again, you can see how nice and crisp it is. It is just a good looking book. It just looks very nice. Nice and zippy, no lag. And same thing goes when you're in this mode. All right, if we click in the middle here, it brings you out to this display and then you can change up your settings on here, including how big of a font you have, so you can make your font huge or somewhat small. Uh, you also have the brightness down here. Yeah, I think we were right in the middle there, which is more than bright enough. I think you also have the different fonts, different layouts, different themes you can do, and a bunch of other stuff. If you guys want to read those, go ahead and pause the video there so a whole bunch of stuff what do you also put this into auto for the uh, brightness here in that button down there so overall this thing looks amazing it works very well but again the reflections will be probably the biggest thing you'll notice on here especially if you read in sunlight whereas on here and then too it's also like the book covers and everything are in are in color on here Whereas the actual e-reader, it is all black and white. Go, go, we'll go into the same book here. So, it takes a quick moment to, I mean it's not slow or anything, but it takes a quick moment to go to the next page and you can see it kind of blanks at you. That is due to, the, of course, the e-ink display here. Uh, see, so there's really no reflections except for when I put it right into the light. There's really no bad reflections. So it's very, very easy to read. So we hit up top here. So they also just gave this an update not too long ago. Hit up top here, we'll hit the double A's. And then you get your different themes, your different fonts and font size. And then the, yeah, the extra different fonts there. Your different layouts, so all that good stuff. So again, it is quite customizable on here. And a whole bunch more. So it's all the same stuff as what is on the tablet itself. Now with the newest update when you're on this screen here, which again you just get to by hitting the top, pull that down, and then you have your brightness here. You also have the warmth. Well, on this one here, uh, if yours is uh, has the warmth display on it, which just makes it so if it's down all the way, it'll be like a normal display, or just basically white. Well, white and black, bring out the warmth all the way, it brings on the amber look to it, which you can't notice right now, but when it's actually dark, dark out, or dark and where, wherever you are reading, uh, this will be kind of an amber display, which is supposed to be, like, it's like the blue light filter is what it is, uh, and it gets rid of the blueness from the lights, uh, which is supposed to be a bit better for your eyes and better for your sleep as well. Uh, we need to, like I see, in terms of the brightness, again, we're, I have two lights on right now, uh, so you can't even tell a difference on this 
but if you're in a dark room, turn that brightness up all the way. It hurts your eyes. Turn it down all the way. You can hardly see it. Uh, so you can you can definitely definitely mess around with the brightness on here. Uh, but again, like the the actual text here is nice, very easy to read, just like on the tablet. So I'll just show off the comic real fast on both of these. So I have Calvin and Hobbes. So we'll go into this. So like this is how Calvin and Hobbes looks like on here. So some of it's pretty dang small. Like this is kind of harder to read. Uh, when it's bright, it isn't too hard, but when you're in a darker room, it can be harder to read. Unless you have to bring this up quite a bit. Yeah, it's on the tablet here. First time opening it up on the tablet here, so it'll take it a moment to actually download. Alright, and then just like on the e-reader, the orientation is very weird. So you think you'd have to turn it like this, but it turns it sideways. You can keep it in an orientation if you need to which you probably would have to for this. But you can see this is pretty easy to read. So you can zoom in on this. You can zoom in on this, I'll show that off in a second here, but it's very clunky, clunky. Uh, this is just nice and smooth. Well, way smoother. Except for the orientation is very annoying. But, so this is definitely easier to read on here than to like this. You actually have color. So if you're Magna, Magna, I never know how to say that word. Or uh, or comics here have color. This is definitely the way to go. I'll show we're zooming in on here real fast. So if we zoom in, it does it. It just takes it a moment here. It's nowhere near as buttery smooth as it is on the tablet. So yeah, that's differences here. Well, you guys can see uh, differences here between. So yeah, there we go. The orientation's all weird. Uh, between an actual Amazon Kindle e-reader and then a Amazon Kindle Fire or Amazon Fire tablet. Here, I don't know if they still call these Kindle Fires or not. Uh, but yeah, so you guys go. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, it's probably, I prefer this. Uh, it's just a little bit nicer, it's better on the eyes, especially at nighttime, it's better on the eyes. But if you're reading comics and stuff, this is probably gonna be the way to go. And again, this will be pretty much the same on basically any tablet, especially any Amazon tablet, will be just like this. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. Goodbye.